It is a name those in San Antonio have heard plenty of times, fine silver. Most of us associate it with the infamous curve, but long before the freeway sliced through downtown, the fine silver building was a bustling clothing manufacturer. It was part of the fabric of San Antonio, quite literally. Justin Horn takes us inside the fine silver building and back in time. It was a pants and overall company. It was fine silver pants and overalls. And my grandfather started it in 1897. And this is the old panel truck. Lynn Fine Silver Crystal is one of the last remaining links to this landmark's original heyday. We are probably around the stock room right now. Sometimes you'll see the they left the size marks on the floor. Her memories tell a story of the fine silver manufacturing company, a building many of us have seen but perhaps don't know about. At one time, it was the largest employer in San Antonio. In the 50s and 60s, it was a bustling, successful clothing manufacturer with a cutting department on the third floor, a sewing department on the second, and shipping on the ground floor. The label says made in Texas, USA. Everything was made in America, every product. The Fine Silvers joined the war effort during World War II by producing military uniforms and were known for their jeans and other lines of clothing. Khaki pants, matched shirts, flannel shirts, chambray shirts. It started with an American dream. Crystal's grandfather, Abraham Feinsilver, began the company in San Antonio after immigrating from Europe. He was from Latvia, the country of Latvia. And he came here, his parents sent him as a young boy. Business was good for decades to come as Crystal's father and uncle took over. That is until imports began to eat away at the textile industry. The fine silver business officially shut down in 1993. Still, Crystal says San Antonio's older generation remembers. When I was in the military, that was the best pair of pants I ever had or the best shirt. And uh, it, was, it was done with pride. And her pride remains, considering the building is still there and being repurposed. The fine silvers no longer own the building, but are glad to see it being put to good use. But I'm thrilled that there's businesses and there's life going on here now. What a cool story, Justin. Well, you know, I love history. Yeah. And you know, what's great is the building is still in use. There's a lot of businesses there. It's still a beautiful building. And it's a part of the history of San Antonio.